Yeah, it is. So the choice is based on one central interview with a young woman called Christian who um, had to terminate her pregnancy. It's, it's based around that theme. And visually it looks like you're actually put on a headset and you're seated across from Christian. And the part that I did, um, kind of all throughout her story, there's cool illustrations showing up around uh, around you. But the choice really plays with that feeling of sitting across from someone, of like trying to create that personal connection. So from the very start, when I did the concept art for the, for the illustrations, it was also very obvious that we want the attention to be on her and we want to actually kind of limit the amount of information that is in the illustration. So a lot of the illustrations are just simple, simple one or two colors, like strokes set around a big black background, very, very stylized, very reduced. Exactly. And with that, we'll come back to more questions later. Thank you, Zoe. Patrick, yeah, this is a totally different environment, although it's about dance and movement and light as well. So I'll let you introduce your project. Yes, thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm really happy to be here to talk uh, about my next project, uh, Rail. And um, do you have the remote for the, the slide? No, no, no problem. Thank you. Um, so uh, my next project, uh, it's my first and my next project in uh, uh, virtual uh, reality. I'm a Swiss filmmaker and um, in, uh, in 2019 I've, uh, I've made uh, a short about, uh, about rape and, sorry, the video is not launching but for good. It's, uh, no problem. So I made a short film about friendship at a rave party and uh, building on that uh, experience, uh, I wanted to take the immersion of uh, the party a step further because dancing on rave uh, seems uh, I work on a lot in my, uh, in my movie and uh, it's with this in mind uh, that I wanted to create a work that would give an even stronger of, uh, immersion uh, than in cinema. So rave is a virtual reality experience uh, uh, that recounts the last memory of a young woman at a rave party. It begins with a young raver inviting you to, uh, uh, to dance to the sound of the techno music, and your head and arms begin to move, immersing you in the most beautiful rave party. And uh, we will be using the volumetric capture and the mocap, and with, uh, with this you are immersed in her memory. But uh, you have to be careful, because uh, for the memory to unfold all the way, you mustn't stop dancing. And that's the whole concept of the piece. Uh, you have to get moving so that the memory can default. Uh, in concrete terms, uh, each movement of the body provokes an emission of uh, luminous particles that uh, you, you've just seen, and uh, which gradually will build the, the wall around, uh, around the spectator. To make it possible, uh, I'm working with my friend and, friend and colleague, uh, Melanie Cortina, one some of you may uh, uh, know as she presented a project uh, here in Venice uh, last year and she will be the immersive artistic director on the, on the project. Together we will be working on the interaction of the work with customized point and cloud shaders uh, like the one you, you just seen. It's a, it's a work of Melanie she did for uh, Palais de Tokyo I think and, uh, and yes so it's the, the whole point of the project, uh, but beyond the idea of letting you experience a rave party, the question we have is what is the materiality of our memories? And we want to propose our interpretation and our interpretation of them. Uh, 